This is the building. Mr. Otska must do well for himself, considering the neighborhood. Not the priciest section of Neo SF, but nice enough for a self employed tech blogger. Perhaps we should just ring the bell? I mean, no harm in trying. We both know it won't be that easy, but it's important to maintain some courtesies. Alrighty, well, first things first. Hello, tree. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did know that. Alright, well, let's look here. Alright, let's use the buzzer, see if we can talk to him. LJ2, Shataro Otsuka's wrong. Shataro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Hmm, that's encouraging. Um... That was odd. I agree. Maybe try the bell again. I suppose so. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2. Shataro Otsuka's wrong. Shataro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Seem to be getting the same response then. Again? What is taking so long? I don't know. <sighs> All right, third time's the charm, right? Once more, with feeling. If you insist. Well, let's try and swipe our card. Maybe that'll get us in. Oh, oh well. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2. Shataro Otsuka's wrong. Shataro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Ah! Why can't this ever be easy? I swear I'll blow out a fuse before we're done. Thank Hayden for system redundancies. Indeed. Well, that's that. Let's see if we can find a way into Mr. Otsuka's apartment ourselves. Very well. Oh, the tree is all prickly here, so I doubt we'll be able to climb that. Let's talk to it. What's shaking, tree? You know, I have sometimes wondered that about certain trees, but I guess it's just kind of how they're supposed to grow. Alright, can we just open the door? Alright, guess not. Ah! Mr. Otsuka's apartment is on the second floor. The fire escape should give us access to his window. We just need something to let us reach it. I'm sure there's some piece of detritus or loose end laying around we could use. Oh, that's how these things always work. Who wants your that, hat? I'm recording. Alright, I'm recording right now. And was it gone? Yeah. So it's actually tapered down the back. I did a two okay. because the three was still too big. Okay. So. And that's all your, all up to you. All right. Let's 
Let's try throwing a brick at it. Hmm, that isn't entirely a bad idea, but it's not exactly the most elegant method. Don't you think an investigative journalist like you can avoid heedless, brutish flap and find another way? <laughs> Don't condescend to me. We're doing this. I didn't know I actually had the option of just throwing a brick. Interesting. Ah, uh, you're right. Let's keep looking. Yeah, we saw you in the uh, in the newsroom. Hey, didn't I see you earlier at TMI? I believe so. Nice to meet you. I'm Sky. Well, nice to meet you, Sky. You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? Your mm -hmm. ROM looks fancy enough to keep track of that. Eh, you know, sometimes they just catch you out of, you know. About that. You want my umbrella? Not for the weather. We need to use the hook handle to reach the fire escape ladder so we can pull it down. Oh, if you live here and lost your keycard, huh? I totally understand. I do that all the time. But look, as much as I'd love to give you this umbrella, I'm kind of using it right now. Where I come from, see, we're all about equal trades. It's part of our culture. Gym culture? Sorry, but unless you've got anything interesting to exchange for it, I'm gonna hold on to this. Now, to be fair, I don't really understand why we can't just borrow it for a split second rather than have to trade it permanently, but eh. Don't want to get wet. Fair enough, I suppose. How about this brick? Not even going to ask. <laughs> How about this? Your ID card? I've already got my own, buddy, and mine has a correct height on it. <laughs> And to correct everything else, I would hope. How about this? I'm trying to cut out dairy. Honest. How about this? Whoa! Calm down! Calm down! I'll give you the umbrella! That, that's... What? We weren't going to shoot you! No, I, that's actually not what I meant, but okay. Oh. Then you can't have it. <laughs> then I am going to shoot you. Uh, how about some GX Ultra Beats? Hmm, these are pretty cool, but I'm not big into music. I like video games more. There's no mic on this headset. Ooh, that's true. Shoot, I should have put that as a downside in my review. Curses! How about this? Those guys are gross. Are you a part of that? Nah. Oh, you're not? Then let's not talk about it, okay? Well, not as such, anyway. There you go. Hey, is this real? The real Yannick Fairlight? You know him? Of course I do! He's one of the most innovative tech minds of the last few generations! Can I please have this? I'll give you the umbrella, yours to keep if you want. I think it's a fair trade. Thanks! Here you go! This is so exciting! I'm gonna go call him right now! Call him? Hmm, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Yeah. Oh well, now we have our tool and a pretty spiffy one at that. Let's go. All right. Excellent work. And with that, let's go. This one appears to be open. This window is unlocked. Let's go in. Ugh, what's that smell, Turing? I'm not sure. 
My olfactory sensors detect chemicals associated with decaying food and something else I can't pin down. It's unfamiliar to me. Right. Well, let's turn on the lights then. Is this a voice activated panel? Oh. <laughs> That's better. Ah. Let's take a look around. Well, that would explain the smell. Ooh, we got some speakers here. Wub speakers. They use actual wires. No way. Are they really that bad? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's somehow related to a robot from the year 20XX. I mean, I think he is. Can I use these? Alright, it probably also uses actual wires. I can toy with it. Okay. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Again, something I never bothered doing before. Oh, that's amazing. Does it play more? Oh, uh, no, it's just the same song. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Nice Easter egg. Nice Easter egg. Oh. oh. That hurts. You can always learn more, I suppose. Alright. Now, hello there. Let's dump some milk on it. <laughs> That's true. I would hope not. And except in the case of like refrigerator ROMs. I as I expected. Well, hello there. Shotaro must be plugged into the mesh. He hasn't even noticed us. I feel like I could scream without him knowing. I don't know if I'd perf want you to try that, but... Eh. Ah! Hi! Mr. Otsuka! Nothing. Hello, guest. Well, b hello. Chitaro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. We just checked, and he seems busy. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? How long has your owner been ill? Shotaro has been under the weather for some time, but I could not tell you precisely when. He rarely has visitors or goes on outings, so this is only slightly abnormal behavior for him. In fact, you are the first visitor he has had in a while. Several days, in fact. Perhaps you could ask him about it yourself. I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. Is your owner still making blog updates? He is. Shataro is a diligent man, even in the face of such adversity. If you are a reader of his work, 
His next significant piece will be going online tomorrow. I will not spoil it for you. When was your last diagnostic check? I run regular self-checks and have noticed no irregularities in either my hardware or software. I appreciate your concern. If you think I am behaving erratically, perhaps you could mention it to Shataro. He is skilled at maintenance. Nah, that's okay. Very well. Let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to assist. I'm sure you are. It's this thing. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Oh no! We're too late! Oh. Wow, that's... I don't remember that close-up from the original game. Ooh. Yikes. Ooh. Yeah, that... <laughs> I will admit it looks a lot more gruesome when they actually have a close-up of it. Wow. How long has he been here? It looks like he's been here for a couple of days. Maybe a little longer. That means whoever did this, did it before we even found out about all of this. That's not good. Stabbed in the chest, right through the back of the chair. Looks like it severed his carotid artery. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I can't help but wonder if this was done by the same person who assaulted Zin. His Rom doesn't even think anything is wrong! We need to hurry! If I'm right, everyone we've talked to so far is in more danger than we thought! Someone is following us! We have to find his computer so I can see if I can pull anything relevant off of it! You interrogate his Rom. Maybe you can find out why it's acting so strange. Well, let's try this. I'll start downloading these files. I finished my examination of Mr. Otsuka's computer. I didn't find anything particularly interesting, but I copied some files to be examined later. All right. See what you can get out of LJ2. Will do. Chitaro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. That's okay. We'll wait. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? Shitaro is dead, LG2. It shut itself down again. If we're all done here, we should hurry and go warn Nanya about what we found. Charlie and Sympathy, too. They might be in immediate danger, so we must act fast. Let's head for Nanya's business. Shit! What the hell are you doing back here? Wait, wait, let me guess. You stole some of my files, or hacked my brain, or used telepathy or some shit, found out someone else got hit by your little ghost in the machine, and when you got there, found out he was deader than New Disco. Yeah, that about sums it up. That close enough? Um, that is distressingly accurate. Well, it wasn't much of a damned guess. Charlie Nova is dead. 
What? Charlie is... The auto cab he was in drove him right off the bridge and into the bay. It's been all over the news for the last ten minutes, and I'm not looking to be next. The slight change from the original game, it's now ten minutes as opposed to the last half hour, which I suppose does make a little more sense. I'm getting the hell out of Neo SF, and I'm gonna forget that I ever saw you, ever knew Charlie, ever gave a shit about any of this. Hell, maybe I'll pick up a new career. I'm less likely to get murdered for being a fry cook, that's for damn sure. Have a good life! Oh no! No, 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 no! Why is this happening? There was no one in that car! No heat signatures, no wireless emissions, nothing! That wasn't even an auto cab! It's a manual! How is that even possible? I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! And that's it! This is too much! I've had enough! I don't care who's controlling the news anymore! Almost everyone we've talked to so far has died, and I can't live with any more blood on my hands! Nor can I. We're not investigating this lead any further! right now uh, uh, it's it's not our fault Turing logically I know that we haven't set out to harm anyone but someone is using us as a stalking horse Hiding behind our investigation to clean up whatever this is. If they want to keep taking out people involved in this, they're going to have to dig them up without our help. We don't have any other leads anyway. Thank you for sticking with me, though. Perhaps Tomcat is finished going through all of the data we found. Maybe so. Let's head back to the apartment for now. Ah, <sighs> home sweet home again. Such that it is. And before you say anything, I don't feel the need to talk over the events of the day. Too much has happened. I've already forwarded everything we've rooted out to Tomcat both Hayden's research and our aborted search into the modified mesh articles. They said they would be over in the morning to discuss our next steps. I'd suggest that we both get some rest. Sounds good to me. Okay, I'm tired anyway. Perhaps things will look better in the morning, but I have a feeling we're going to be even busier than ever. Here's hoping. Good night.